Hi everyone, welcome to Kermit Catherine's Reef. So, I have my little grandbaby. I know all you guys wanted to see him. This is who we call Angel Baby. He is two and a half and he has Down Syndrome. I just wanted to say hi to all my new subscribers and hello to my crafty family. This is our Angel Baby. Isn't he getting big? <laughs> He's getting really big. I'm going to go put him back up. His papa's here. So my husband's going to watch him while I do a flower. And then I'm going to go spend time with this little man. But everybody wanted to see him. Are you going to say hi? No, you're just going to suck your thumb? He sucks his thumb. He also rubs his head while he's trying to sleep like a self-soothing thing. But this is Angel Baby. He got real big from a year ago when I started showing <laughs> 11 months ago, almost a year. Our channel is almost a year old. And you guys have seen him grow up in the past year, but he's getting really big. He's doing a lot of new things. But this is my special sweet baby. This is what um, makes me happy. Hmm. So anyways, we will. I will be right back and we'll get started. We're going to do a flower today, um, kind of like um, the 4th of July uh, carnation and the yellow carnation, but it's going to be multiple colors, and I'm going to add leaves. So this shape of the leaves is going to make the flower a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it, then I'm going to go on my page, and we're going to see what type of flower it is. Because when you add leaves to the bottom, it gives it a new look. So I'll be excited to see what type of flower it looks like. But um, I wanted everyone to see how big this little guy's getting. Yeah? So this is my grandson, like I said. My little angel baby. This is um, what makes us happy. All my grandkids do, but he's um, our little gift from God. He almost didn't make it. When he was born, he had a really hard start to life, and um, as he's getting older, we're learning more and more about Down Syndrome, and we're learning about um, children with disabilities, and that is one of my big passion. I love children and adults with disabilities. They just um, touch my heart, and we are um, learning a lot in the community, and um, like we did Special Olympics, and I had Jaden. He was 11. He was autistic, which is one of my sweet babies. So, um, as this channel grows, you're going to learn about um, the children like I do. So, it's such a reward. It's such a god bless reward. Um, he has blessed us with this little baby. So, anyways, I'm going to pick him up so you can see him. I'm going to shut the channel down. Are you going to get up with me, Ma? You can see how big he's getting. You gonna say anything? No, he's not gonna say anything. He was all smiles. It's time for his nap, so I'm gonna go ahead and give him to his peepaw, so he can go down for his nap. But we have the kids today. Um, my other one's in there watching Mickey Mouse. He didn't want to be on the camera. And you know when they get about almost five, they all of a sudden get camera shy. <laughs> so that's what we're dealing with, um, the different ages. But this is Angel Baby. So, I will see you guys in a few seconds. Bye. The flower today. So, today I am using the green eyelash mesh for the petals. Um, and, like I said, I don't know what... I, I think it's almost... Gonna, we're going to see what type of flower it looks. I have this thing in my mind. Kind of like a carnation, but not really. We're going to use the pink gold from Paper Mart. And then we're going to use the purple. It's like... Um, a lilac. I actually got this also from Fuzzy Fabrics. And then I have a yellow that I got from Paper Mart. Alright, so these are the four colors we're using. Um, all the information will be uh, at the back of the tutorial is where I put all the supplies. And now we have a new feature. So I wanted to talk about that. YouTube gave some channels a new feature. And as soon as you click on my page, if you're a subscriber, you can click, you can, you'll can. you see a big like selection where you can click on Hit Community. 
and you can hit community and on the community is like this web page and it's for me and my subscribers and I can now put um, pictures up of reefs that I'm making so I can make this and while it's downloading I can put the picture and then put a supply list underneath so you can see all the supplies that you need to make this reef so that's going to make it really cool so you won't have to wait till the end of the tutorial and pause it you can watch it and you can go right to the community page and I'll have the supplies listed of what you need I'll also try to put how much of each one that you need to cut. Now some of them I use a whole roll and I'll just say cut up a whole roll. <laughs> Especially if it's a 21 inch and I cut up. Um, but I'm going to try to do this a little bit different. Also you can ask me questions and I can answer them for you. You can comment. Um, the great thing about it is let's say um, you're looking for a tutorial. I have 209 tutorials and you can't find the one that you're looking for a lot of you go by a lot of my old tutorials where I use the pipe cleaners um, and I will be doing one with pipe cleaners because that's a big request I've been getting so I will have one of um, like my poofy reefs that I'll do with the pipe cleaners coming up um, soon actually so um, you can ask me and say, hey, Carmen, last year you did a snowman reef using the old school technique with the pipe cleaners. I can't find it. And I can actually take that tutorial and put it on the community page. And you can click on it and there it is for you. And you can watch it. You click on it and there you got You got my link to watch it. It goes right to, right to my video. And you can watch it, comment, whatever you whatever you want. Um, this feature hopefully will become permanent by YouTube, but right now it's um, how we do, how much we use it. So the more you use it and become familiar with it, it will become a permanent feature of YouTube. So please use it because this is going to really broaden my channel. Um, I can put pictures on there. I can talk to you kind of like um, on Facebook where we talk to each other and I can put pictures and stuff or like on Messenger where we talk but it's a community where the community can ask me questions and um, I can answer them for you so it's a great feature what is coming up next is YouTube is talking about adding a feature onto that community channel where you can put pictures up so let's say I'm doing a tutorial everybody liked it um, or let's say you couldn't get something right and you can't figure it out you can take a picture of your reef that you're working on or piece of art and you can say Carmen this is what I did where where am I not getting it right and I can say oh this is what you're doing wrong or you can just say Carmen thank you for the inspiration I love your work I made this pitch I made this reef from your tutorial because I love seeing what my subscribers do. So that is going to be a feature that YouTube is talking about putting into um, the community channel in the future. So please use it. The more we use it, the more they see that it's a good idea and we'll be able to keep that feature. All right? And Unfortunately, it's just for the subscribers, so please subscribe, use that channel, and we can talk to each other. Um, and it's a great feature. Like I said, um, a lot of you are on my Facebook page, which is Carmen's Crafty Friends, which is my um, craft group of my tutorials. So many of you go on there, and we talk, and I try to help you, and people help each other. It's Carmen's Crafty Friends. Um, it's not just, you know, my reefs. Most of them are things that get inspiration. A lot of people say, oh, Carmen, I watched your tutorial and I got inspiration from it and I came up with this. And that is amazing to see. It really makes me happy. It warms my heart. Because tutorials are for my subscribers. They're for you to make. So, again, they're for my subscribers to make. Um, not to be recreated, because that's not just not nice to take someone's work and claim it as yours. That's not nice. Um, this is the only way I make my money, is by making tutorials. And um, you guys watching the commercials, 
is how I get paid to buy my supplies to make these uh, pieces of art for you. So thank you again for watching my channel. Please make sure that you watch the commercial at the beginning of the tutorial because that's how I get paid. If you skip through it, then I'm only going to get like a penny where I can go up to 10 cents or more. So please watch the, um, the ads. It helps me and that's how I get paid and that's how I make my money to make um, reefs for you tutorials. And like I said, I'm not making very much right now. Um, but I'm trying to do the best I can. And the more that people watch the commercials, and even when you re-watch it, watch that commercial because we do get paid for replays as well. So um, that's how I get the money to make, to buy the supplies to make the tutorials for you guys, all right? So please watch the commercials because we get paid between a penny to 35 cents. It depends on how many subscribers you have is how you get paid on a scale and it depends on how, if you watch the whole commercial so I mean even a penny helps out but 10 cents helps out as each one is watching right now I'm averaging between like a hundred and forty um, hopefully that'll pick up so the more you watch the more I can make the more I can buy and the more I can do for y'all um, far as giveaways, um, we are beginning very close. We are at 758,000 views at 850, so we have less than, we have like 95,000 views we got to get. And I can get that easily this month if everybody watches. And like I said, replaying counts because I am over that little... Um, when you're first starting your channel, you have to get 10, you have to get, I think it went up. When I first started, you had to get 10,000 views to get monetized, to get the ads, and replays didn't count. Once you get over that little hump, replays do count. So please watch the ads, and even replaying it counts for me. Um, so when we hit our 850,000 view goal, I'm giving out a $50 Amazon gift card. And that goes to one lucky subscriber. Doesn't matter where you live. Um, I can mail it or even email it to you. Um, and you can buy off of Amazon. And it's $50, okay? Um, and like I said, I can email it. It doesn't matter if you live in Spain, wherever you live, you can win it as well. Um, and then add our 10,000 subscribers. And we are at nine thousand almost 500 so i have like 540 i believe more to go and i can i usually get about 500 subscribers in a month so hopefully by the end of this month i will hit that goal as well and we are giving away a power rotary cutter to cut your mesh all right and this is about $34.95 retail value. And um, on Amazon, with Amazon Prime, it's about $38 in free shipping with the Prime. But with that, it's $34.95 plus shipping. But I, uh, I'm giving away a power rotary cutter, and I pay for shipping. You pay nothing. And we will be having a drawing on this as well. My oldest grandson, Theo, picks out the lucky winner. I put all your names in a big jug. And let me tell you, it takes me some, it takes me three days to get everybody's name in there. I usually handwrite it, put it on a piece of paper, and we put, we fold them up, put them in there, shake them up, and then my grandson picks out the lucky winner. I don't pick it out, he does. He picks out one lucky winner. We read the name. I give you three days. Um, to get in touch with me and my email is on my page if you go and you hit on YouTube you hit about Carmen Catherine's reefs you'll see a business email there you can email me there it's Carmen Thanner at gmail.com and it's Carmen C-A-R-M-E-N Fanter F is in Frank A-N T is in Tom, E-R, at gmail.com. 
and you and you can email me you can hit it and I'll also have it on my um, on the video before the drawing and you can email me or those of you that are on my Facebook you can message me and I'll get back with you and mail that out to you to the lucky winners that's how we've been doing it now when you subscribe what happens is your ID um, that you have when you go on to YouTube. Some of you use your email, some of you have a little code name, some of you just use your first name. Each one of your profiles get emailed to me saying so and so uh, just subscribe to your channel. And at the end what I can do, I can do it anytime. I can hit all my subscribers and I'll print out or it'll give me every single subscriber that I have on my channel so I know who subscribed and who didn't. I can also take that ID of who won and I can look it up. I can put it in my um, little thing that goes through YouTube and I can look up my subscriber. So I know who subscribes and who doesn't. You have to be a subscriber to win each drawing. After these two drawings, will, which will probably be most likely at the end of the month, because I'm averaging between um, 60, between 40 and 60,000 views a month, but as the channel's getting bigger, I'm at, the average is going up, and that's when my money will start to increase too. So those people that have like 30,000 subscribers, 50,000 subscribers, they're the ones that make a, a lot more money. I'm just at, you know, not even 10,000 yet. So, as the subscribers go up, the views go up, and so does the pay that you get paid, for those of you that don't know how YouTube works. So, um, you have to be a subscriber. Our next two drawings after this will be at 850,000 views, um, after we hit that goal, we're 250,000 more, I will be at my 1 million views. I'm giving away another $50 Amazon gift card. And then at my 12,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a skill rotary cutter, which is a little more expensive because it is skill. But skill came out with a new one. It has a handle and it's a power screwdriver with cutter attachment and that one is uh, like if you were to buy it from them or usually on Amazon and stuff it's about 38 um, but that's without the free shipping with ship it can go up to 40 45 dollars so I will be giving away a skill and I will be paying for that as well the shipping all right that will be our next one and then after we hit that goal I will be give I will um, be giving away another another tool. So then that will be a surprise because I thought like you know after we keep hitting these goals, after we hit our twelve thousand subscribers, and um, once I hit a bigger goal, I would like to give away like a little glue pot with the little glue potatoes, and um, put like a little crafting thing together like put so the big one when we hit our 15,000 subscribers my big giveaway is going to be a cable tie gun a glue pot um, and a, a bag of glue all right and I might I might I'm not sure I might even put in um, I thought about a glue gun a glue pot, a bag of glue, a cable tie gun, and one little package. All right? That way, every it'll be a bigger package worth a lot more. So it'll be a glue gun, a glue pot, a bag of glue, a cable tie gun. I'll put in a bag of cable ties in it. So it's going to be a big, big package. And I'll even put a pair of scissors. So you have both things I use, a pair of scissors, a cable tie gun, a glue pot, a bag of a bag of glue, a glue pot, and a glue gun, all in one package. 
So you'll have both things that I use, one that I use for my floral, one that I use for everything else as far as your glue, a glue gun, a glue pot, scissors, a cable tie gun, and a bag of zip ties. That will be at our 15, at our 15,000 um, subscribers. So, at our um, 10,000 subscribers, we're giving away a Zip Snip Made by Works, our Power Rotary Cutter. At our 12,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a Skill Rotary Cutter. At our 15,000 subscribers, which is a big deal for me, it will be a glue gun, a glue pot, a bag of glue, a, a bag of zip ties, scissors, and a cable tie gun. That is a, that's a lot, and that adds up. So that's almost like a, it'll be almost like a hundred dollar package once I get everything together, because it does add up. It'll be like a hundred dollar package after I add the shipping, because it's going to be quite a, it's a big thing. So the glue gun that I use is from Hobby Lobby. It usually runs about $40, okay? So then you got your glue pot. That's about 10, that's 50. And then the 60, 70 with the cable ties and the um, pack of glue. And then it'll be between 80 to $100 package. It'll be a nice crafting package I'll give away. That is at our 15,000 subscribers, all right? And then once we hit our goal of our 1 million views and I give away that Amazon gift card for $50, I will come up with something that is, because uh, that should be around Christmas time, so we might even give away another um, Pro Bow, because a lot of you are asking. I was giving away the $50 gift card because you could buy a Probo with it and that covers the shipping too um, for U.S. So remember that we are giving away Christmas time. I'm not leaving. I'm showing you what I'm giving away. On the 12th day of December of 2018, I'm having a draw drawing for this peacock wreath. All right, this peacock reef I handmade. Retail value is about $200. Remember, it takes about eight hours to make this. The bird alone um, costs money, and then I had, you know, I got that from Factory Direct Craft. And then with all the different colors and the ribbon and everything, it retails about $200. I am selling one that's similar. Um, like, you'll see them. Um, because I, I would sell them for $120, but like everybody told me, nobody's ever done a peacock like this. I am the first, and it's the first of this design. I designed it. All right? Nobody's ever done it except for me. And my tutorial is about two months, about six weeks old on this one I did. All right? That will be the 12th day of December. I'm giving away that wreath. And like I said... Um, Retail value is about $200. I sell them for $120 for the small one. That's a smaller peacock. Um, and I will pay for shipping as well. So that will be a Christmas gift to one of my subscribers. So you have to be a subscriber to win any of these awesome gifts. But that one is going to be, it'll be like a Christmas gift to one of you, one of all of you that are my subscribers and my grandson will pull the name out for that. I'm really excited about this year's Christmas um, because I'll be doing a lot of tutorials and like I said I'm giving away that peacock on the 12th day of December. Now what's going to happen with that is the whole 12 days and I might even do a live. I'm not sure yet. I was thinking about doing a live and the whole 12 days of the first 12 days in December, I'm going to be doing a bunch of Christmas tutorials. You have to watch all of them and put your name at the bottom. All right. On the 11th day, I will tell everyone, put your name, 
is I'm going to collect the names, and it needs to be in every single day. I need to see that you're watching it. On the 11th day will be the last day, and I'll say, okay, I've seen everybody's name, but you have to put it in one more time so I can see that you've seen it to be able to win the peacock. On the 12th day after that tutorial, I will pull out your name live after I do that tutorial while we're doing it, and I will let you know who won. And I will that will be my Christmas present to that lucky subscriber. You have to be a subscriber and you have to watch to win it. It is a beautiful peacock. It's a beautiful wreath. And like I said, it's the first of its kind, mine design. So I'm very excited that I'm giving away. And it's beautiful. It's a nice, it's a very nice gift. So I'm trying to think of what else we're doing. We have more stuff we're doing, so that's just some of it. So thank you for watching my channel, everyone. Thank you for being a part of my life because it means everything to me. We're going to get started on this. I just wanted to give you a brief intro on everything. Oh, I did want to say one thing. So um, I have been using Paper Mart for 11 months. And when I went to go order, the shipping, the shipping went up. So I'm going to use what I have left because I, I can't afford the shipping is just too much. I love Paper Mart, but the shipping is too much. I went to order $7 worth of, um, it was four of your gold that was on sale, the 10 inch gold metallic, which is like $7.19. When I went to put it in, it was 20, it came up to $7 for four rolls. It was $27 for shipping. I can't afford to do that. Um, I love you Paper Mart. But if the shipping is going to stay that high, I can't afford to buy it. I just can't. I am going to use up all of my Paper Mart that I have now in my tutorials. And um, if the shipping doesn't go down, everybody, I'm going to slowly phase it out and start working with other products. I love Paper Mart, but I can't afford that shipping. So as you've seen recently, I've been using Fuzzy Fabric a lot. Fuzzy Fabric is um, a great company. They sell the eyelash mesh that I've been using. I did it with uh, the Patriotic Carnation, the red, white, and blue. It looks like lace. They have some beautiful, 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 beautiful mesh. I also use this on my, um, well, I'll show you this. Paper Mart's regular mesh. They have, uh, oh, that's not it. I've used it on the Cowgirl Rodeo. It looks like lace. I used this from um, Fuzzy Fabric. Yesterday, the day before yesterday tutorial, the red, white, and blue carnation. All of that was used from Fuzzy Fabric. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. My Bluebird was used. I used from Fuzzy Fabric. Um, there's a couple of them that I've been using from Fuzzy Fabric. Oh, my lemonade, that yellow with the gold metallic in it, that's Fuzzy Fabric. So Fuzzy Fabric does offer, they don't offer the two-tone, because I looked, everybody, because I'm hooked on Paper Mart's two-toned mesh. They do not offer that, but they have the 10-inch standard mesh. Standard, which means you're plain your plain color, like this, this is red, this is from Fuzzy Fabric, is $2 a roll. That's not bad, all right? And then if you want to get their uh, metallic mesh, let's see if I have. Okay, this is their black, and it does have metallic in, you just can't see it. Fuzzy Fabric, it's $2.49 for their metallic, all right? Um, let me see what else. Here's another one. They're emerald, emerald green with metallic. You know that if I don't use two-toned, I like to use the metallic because for some reason it the mesh doesn't fray as much. So, but I like to use the two-toned and I love metallic mesh. Those are my two favorite. So Fuzzy Fabric has burlap. They have jute. They have metallic mesh, they have the eyelash mesh, they have standard mesh. They have just about every 
thing you can think of except two-toned. So I will be using, I use Craft Outlet as well. So as I start going through, I'm going to try to get the cheapest I can get and the best I can get from different companies and introduce them to you. So um, I use a lot, like I've been using a lot of Paper Mart. So that just saddens my heart because I love you, Paper Mart. I just can't afford the shipping. I use a lot of Craft Outlet, everybody. Um, Hobby Lobby's decor. I use a lot of their decor. I use their premium. Premium. And when I mean premium, this is like $13.49 that they have. Their premium mesh 21 inch. Um, I don't cut it. I use it for like the um, poof method. And it almost looks it's real pretty. Let me show you. I have... I have some pink. I if I could find it. Probably not. I'm so I use this on the 21 inch poof method. See how pretty that is? That I use from um, Hobby Lobby. When I use Hobby Lobby stuff, I usually get it when it's on sale. And as many of you know, they're having sales. So their mesh is every other week is 50% off their mesh. And then it alternates in between. One week is 50% off their decor and floral. And then the next week is 50% off their ribbon and mesh. All right. So um, I do buy some a lot of their decor so when their floral goes on sale and I have some extra money I will be buying some of theirs because they have some beautiful floral I also am going to be doing some Dollar Tree so I will be doing some Dollar Tree pieces we do have a Father's Day that's coming up that I want to do to honor our fathers all right so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shut this off and start a whole new video on just um, what we're going to be working on and just do this as um, a hello tutorial and um, this is what we're going to be do uh, changes on my channel so this is what's coming up on our channel what we're going to be doing and what you have to look forward to um, also on the youtube community um, page on my youtube you can put in request now, I cannot promise you I can do all requests because I am on a budget, okay? And um, if I don't have the materials or the money, then I can't do it. But if I do, I will try to make it for you. Um, we have a lot of flowers coming up. And after July is when I, I do my Christmas. I do Christmas early. I'm sorry, everyone. I do. Um, I'm a big Christmas person. I'm not so much Halloween. Um, not so much. I'll do some fall pieces. And for fall, some pretty pieces, pumpkin pieces, um, some fall colors. Those are my favorite. Um, but I'm not too much into Halloween. Um, it just goes against my faith. And last year, I felt really, really guilty. And my heart hurt. Like, I wasn't honoring um, honoring God by doing those Halloween pieces. I felt, my spirit felt hurt. So this year, um, I'm just not going to do it. We will do some pumpkin decor. We'll do some fall pieces, Thanksgiving pieces. We'll do pieces like that. I'll do like a kitty, a black kitty cat or something, but I cannot do the scary Halloween stuff anymore. Um, people that order that for me, that's one thing, but doing a tutorial on it, it really hurt my spirit last year. So that, I, I just can't do it. I'm sorry. But I will do some fall pieces and we will do a lot of Christmas. And um, we're going to be also be doing a lot of inspirational faith pieces for Christmas, the true meaning of Christmas. 
alright, so I'll do some like snowman, some stuff like that, like I did last year, but I want to do stuff that celebrates our faith and what, what Christmas really means. So, um, that's what I want to focus on. Happy stuff. Positive stuff. We'll do Christmas. Just, I'll do some of the Christmas decor, but I'm going to do a lot of faith stuff. All right? And like I said, Halloween just isn't, you may stop to watch me while it's Halloween, <laughs> but I'll do the pumpkin. I'll do Thanksgiving pieces. I'll do fall flowers and stuff like that, but honestly, I, I'll do like a scarecrows and stuff like that, but I just do not want to do stuff that's going to hurt me, alright, so don't call me fickle or anything, it's just, I'm positive, I don't want to put scary stuff, I don't know. So, I'll do some Dollar Tree stuff, and, and for Halloween, just not gory, scary stuff. Pumpkins, um, fall flowers, lots of those colors, we'll do that. And I'll take requests, just no, nothing scary. It has to be cute, nothing scary, all right? Last year I did that mummy thing that was really scary and I just felt like I was doing something wrong. So um, I just, I can't do it. So anyways, this is just a little bit about my channel. All the fun stuff that's coming up. The giveaway on the Peacock. The giveaway on um, the $50 Amazon gift cards. The giveaway on skill and the zip snip, the giveaway on the big giveaway, which is the glue gun, the glue pot, a bag of uh, the little potato wedges, the glue skillet glues that go in it. Um, and then you'll get the fizzers, cable tie gun, and a bag of cable tie. will be the big giveaway. So as we go, now you know what to look forward to. Please use that community um, feature we have on YouTube that is going to help a lot in a lot. Some of you on YouTube are not on Facebook. They don't have Facebook pages. So this is going to help you out because you'll be able to talk to me on the community page and I'll be able to help you. And I'll be able to answer questions. I'll be able to show supply lists before I put out um, the piece I'm working on. I'll be able, and, and like I said, YouTube is going to add other features to the channel. This is just like a test thing to see how it goes. Once it becomes a permanent feature, they're talking about adding where you can start putting your pictures on there. So I can see your work. So this is going to be fun. Lots of fun. I'm really, really looking forward to this. And I'm going to stop talking. You saw my angel baby. So we're going to get going on the next, on my flower, but it'll be in a different, and it'll be in a different piece. This is just an introductory to my channel, what's coming up, the fun giveaways, and um, the community feature, and what it's for on my channel. So my Carmen's Crafty Family, use that community button, talk to me. Let me know um, pieces that um, you may want me to do. Now, I will tell you, I do have some cross pieces like I did for Easter and stuff. Like our Amazing Grace that I got from Hobby Lobby that I did on my Easter piece, which is beautiful, which some of you have not seen. Because I do a lot of floral pieces as well which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not just about mesh, all right? I do floral. So, this is our Amazing Grace piece that I did around Easter time. It's absolutely gorgeous. 
everybody loved it, all right? And I will be doing another piece, but with Christmas colors or fall colors. So um, that will be in the next couple months. So you're going to want to go ahead and purchase your Amazing Grace cross. They'll also have other crosses there. They have three different types of Amazing Grace crosses that um, Hobby Lobby has. Three different designs. So pick the design that you want. Because um, I know some of you are on a budget. And come closer to fall and Easter, fall and, ugh, fall and Christmas time. We're going to be doing a lot of my faith um, pieces. And I wanted to do something like with the fall colors and a cross and with Christmas and a cross. Because that's my design too. And I thought that would be really beautiful. Plus, they come out with different crosses all year round at Hobby Lobby. This is my favorite one, but they have the red, white, and blue one that I used. Um, they just have a lot of the crosses that I use at my work at Hobby Lobby. So you're going to want to go ahead and get some of those pieces. Get them when they're half off, when they alternate and their decor is half off. Because their normal price on this is $19.99, so you'll be able to get it for $9.99, all right? I paid full price for this. So um, you're going to want to go ahead and pick these up and get them when they're whole, having that sale. Um, and save it, because that's a piece that we will be doing. Also, I, I do a lot of, like I said, I do a lot of floral. So those of you, I have that Amazing Grace um, vine that I just showed you is in a tutorial on my page. I also have, this is a Japanese magnolia, right? And I got the flowers from Walmart. And I do have a tutorial on this. This is absolutely beautiful. So those of you that, because I see I don't get a lot of views on some things. But those of you that have not seen it, um, you don't want to miss out. It turned out gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. Now, when I first put it out, there was a piece of this tutorial missing. So I had to take it down, and I lost all the views I had on it. I just erased it and re put the video all together. So the whole video is on there now. So those of you that went on there and there was a piece missing, it's complete now. The whole video is up to watch that to see how I do that because I show everything on that. And that came out really beautiful. Even the bow was pretty and I did that with the bow Dabra and I used Dollar Tree's ribbon to make that beautiful bow for uh, the Japan Japanese Magnolia vine. All right. Um, also, we're going to have some kids crafts. Listen, our children are going to be off for the summer. I'm a grandmother. But um, when I was a mommy's age, the children are off for the summer. And usually the grandparents get the grandkids for the summer for a couple weeks. Because as my kids, my grandbabies get older, I will. Because I love them. But I get them whenever I want. My granddaughters, I will. So um, I want to come up with some kid projects that us grandmothers or moms can do with our children. Something fun to get our kids involved, keep them busy all summer long. So, like you saw a couple days ago, I did something really easy. I have a 10-year-old that is on my channel, and she is just adorable. And um, she actually wrote me, she emails me. She's so sweet to me. She was so happy that I came up with this ladybug. She made the ladybug, so if she could make it, I know you guys can. So this is a fun, easy, easy project you can do with your grandkids. And I got the ball, which is three, the three-inch round foam ball from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree does have the little um, foamy, the foam sheets. There's this smaller, like it's like an 8 by 8 and you can cut out and put the foam on the back. They have the little googly eyes. They have the pipe cleaners. And these little pom-poms I got from Dollar Tree. All right. The only thing I didn't get from them is 
the mesh I got that was uh, $1.50 on sale from Walmart. And then I used a 10 inch frame. All right. But you can make this using a 14 inch frame from Dollar Tree too. So, but this is a fun, easy project you can do with your grandkids and your children. And it's cute. It's so cute. And everybody loved it. So get your children involved. You know, they can paint the little um, ladybug's head. I will be doing a caterpillar, I had someone asking, and a butterfly. I'm just trying to get some of the requests I already had out. But I do have an idea for a caterpillar that hasn't been done yet. I'm just not telling you what it is. <laughs> the day that I go to put it out, I'll tell you the supplies you need on the community channel, and we'll do that caterpillar together. I, you have to come up with something different that no one else made in a tutorial. Otherwise, YouTube will kick it off. You cannot copy anyone. They came out with a lot of strict rules, everybody. No copying somebody's tutorials. And if it's more than 20%, they boot you off, and you can get a copyright a strike from YouTube and they have a whole bunch of rules they made and little videos you can watch if you don't believe me it's out there they're cracking down on it because it's invading on other people and people get upset so that's what why they call it the fair use so if I make a caterpillar it has to be you know of course it's gonna have the little head like everybody else makes but I have to find out a design that no one else has used, all right, on YouTube. So I'm working on that. I'm working on a butterfly as well for us to do, um, which will be fun for our children, our grandbabies, grandmas, working with your grandkids. I do want to do something for little boys too, not just for girls. So I'm trying to figure out some crafts that we can do with our children. So I just want to say thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for your love and your support. Miss Diana, I am wearing your gift that you sent me of the bracelet and the earrings and the necklace. Thank you so much. Um, I have gotten some wonderful, wonderful people on my channel. You have become my family. I love you. We pray for each other. I cry with you. We support each other, we help each other, and it's just been, block out the trolls, let's block out the negativity. <laughs> Other than that, it's been an amazing journey the last 11 months um, on my channel. And um, there are some days I do get upset and I just want to close the channel down because we do have people that are ignorant and mean and like to cyber bully or nitpick or complain or just be plain out mean. Say mean things about me and I have to block them, get them off of YouTube. Actually, I send them right to YouTube so they can see who's doing it. You get sent right to them and I block you from commenting on my channel. Um, I do have quite a few. They even went and got new... Um, YouTube IDs to get on there just to harass me again. Um, it hasn't been pleasant, but we are not going to let them tear us down. We are going to continue to do positive things and be positive on this channel. I am not going to do that. Um, I have met amazing people that I love, and I'm not going to let one person ruin it. So um, I did talk about some things you can do in your community. Uh, pet supply. You know that I love my Down syndrome. I'm a big um, advocate for autism, Down syndrome, um, children with disabilities. I'm a big advocate for breast cancer. Um, my, my, she's my mom. My stepmom had breast cancer not once but twice. So um, yeah, I get, they'll take out. You know, they'll do the um, mastectomy and take out the breast. And what happened is they left in the armpits, and which we call the wings, and then she got breast cancer in the armpits. So that does happen. She is a survivor, two-time survivor of breast cancer. And um, I love her, and that is something I am very, very passionate about. 
um, and our fur babies. As our kids get older, they leave. We get empty nest and they become our little babies. So pet supply and my pet supply, most of them do do it. We do, um, once a year, they do a fundraising event to raise all this money to go towards um, a rescue center. Well, what happens at these um, pet shelters, rescue centers, is a lot of them can only keep them for so long. They try to get them foster care. They try to get them adopted out. They um, get their shots up to date. They feed them. And after, because there's so many, after so much time, they, some of them put them to sleep. Well, what we do is we, my pet supply raises money and all the money from that function goes towards our local rescue center to keep these animals alive until we can find them homes. It buys them time and it gets their food, their shots, it gets them fed, it does everything. So it allows them to keep these animals longer so they can be adopted out. And all of the money they raise goes towards them. So it was an honor. Pet Supply called me and asked me to make a wreath to raffle off. And that's when I made uh, the beachy wreath with the fish in it. It looks like a 3D fish wreath. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. It turned out really pretty. I was happy about it. And I brought it up there, and um, she was telling me about the thing. So it's June 16th at my area. Um, they're going to be doing, like I'm bringing Ginger, which is my service dog. I've, I have Cushing's disease. I have a brain tumor. This is my second one. But I also, because of it's in the pituitary, it's not on the outside, it's in the inside. It's my second one. And if they cut it out, I lose the whole thing. So that's why you see my weight go up my weight go down and if you look at my older videos I was 40 pounds heavier I'm at my normal weight right now because my um, we're kind of figuring things out right now so it cycles out like half of the month I'll be uh, a normal weight the other half I'll gain 10 pounds but at least I'm 40 pounds less than what I was so I'm at my normal weight now I'm at a healthy weight and um Ginger is my service dog. I have diabetes, which comes from, I'm diabetic because of the pituitary. I'm type 1. So with type 1, with the insulin, I get low sugar sometimes. Now, I can get high sugar too, but it's the low sugar. I'll get shaky, I'll sweat, I'll pass out. Um, it's gotten to a point where I passed out that um, I almost died if it wasn't for her. Um, she'll pull on me when it gets down to about 50 and she will be so insistent. She'll start to run around in circles. She'll bring bowls to my feet. She's even went and got my glue monitor and put it at me to tell me check your sugar. Um, she saved my life. And so I'll go and drink some orange juice, eat, eat some sugar to get it up. And then I have to eat something to keep it up. Because um, you have to eat protein to maintain it. Those of you that are diabetic understand. So I'm taking her on the 16th to get her little paw prints done. She's also disabled. She's almost completely blind. So we help each other. She has a great sense of smell. So that is a big thing that's going on in my area. Call your pet supply. Because what I was told that is most pet supplies are doing this in their area. Call your pet supplies. See if they're... Um, doing this function because most of them are and it raises money to a local shelter also everyone they you know you can give a reef to your breast cancer um, we have a st. Vincent's is real big for breast cancer over there and even our military and um, I make a reef every year and I donate it to breast cancer awareness and they raffle it off every October um, that's where I made the reef with the ladybugs, the um, breast cancer flower. Um, you can do that, and all the money goes towards them. It helps other breast cancer people because Breast Cancer Society helps them with their food. It helps them with their gas, their medicine. 
um, it helps them. Now you have to, they have to fill out an application to see if they're qualified, but it costs money to travel to go and get treatment. So this will help them. So it's very important. You also, there's other cancers to be awareness of. So you can make anything from leukemia, like I've made one for leukemia and donated it to the children's wing at the hospital and um, they can raffle it off to help the parents with that. Um, there's so much you can do, so get involved with your community because it really does feel great when you do something special for someone else. And that's contagious, by the way. Miss Diane started sending me stuff because I was supposed to only go down to one day to two days a week doing this because I can't afford to do it every day. Miss Diane started sending me stuff and I don't expect it, and I don't ask for it. She did it because she wanted to. And before I knew it, other people were doing it. And an act of kindness moves on someone's heart, and then they do something. It's like, um, almost like, a, I can't say a disease, but it's almost like contagious. Do something nice and warming for someone else, someone gets inspired, and then they do it. And if we all did something amazing together and help these different organizations with the things that's going on, do you know how much help we can do if we did it together? That would be amazing. So um, get in your community. Do something special. Do something great. Anyways, I'm going to shut this off. I just wanted to tell you about the community button, what's going on with my channel, what to expect in the future. And um, tell you, I love you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Get involved in doing things. Um, I do have a button for, um, I have my address on the, if you hit about Carmen Catherine's Reefs. My uh, P.O. box is on there if you want to write me or send me a card. Um, there are, if someone wants to sponsor me and help me um, to get supplies, there's a donation button on there. I'm not asking for anything, anyone. If someone wants to, it's there. I have a donation button through PayPal. You can donate. It's been there. Nobody's donated, and I'm fine with that. But if they wanted to, you can. If you want to write me, you can. Um, if you want to email me, my email's there. Hit about my channel, and it's all listed underneath that big paragraph about... Um, and I list in there, tutorials are for my subscribers to make. I list it right there, right on my copyright. So you subscribers can see you can make it. I just put it where it can't be reproduced and copied. You're not supposed to copy someone anyways. But they're for you subscribers to make, all right? And suppliers are for you to buy. That's why I try to find the cheapest and best supplies so you can go out there and buy it. Um... So right under there, you'll see, and there are little, little blue links. It'll say, um, donation. It'll say, um, email. It'll, it'll show my, um, SD page, because I do have an SD store where I sell my reefs to. There's different links on there, all right? It's right there. My email's there, donation, my SD page, um, my P.O. box, everything's right there. So um, you can write me, you, you can send me a card, you can write me through email. You can even get in touch with me through SD, my SD page. You can actually have, people have wrote me through SD and we had conversations through my store. So you can even write me through there if you don't feel comfortable um, sending me an email. You can send it, you can write me on SD, okay? So everything's right there listed. But please, use this community channel, everybody. Use that feature. It's a great feature. Um, I will be listing everything we're going to use on today's flower. I'm going to shut this off, and then you'll see me in a few minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my little baby. I hope you love seeing Angel Baby. He is getting big. He's getting really big. Ah, oh, he's getting big. But, oh, thank you for the support for that, too. Um, I love our special children. They're amazing. And our adults that have autism and Down syndrome, 
let me tell you, they are an amazing bunch of people. Um, they are so loving. So please don't ever walk by... S I see someone who's an adult who has Down syndrome. I don't walk by them. I say hello. Um, they get people that look at them like they're diseased or weird. And that's just not right. I met a young man that was 25 at Walmart. He was sitting down on a bench here at our local Walmart. I'm just going to tell you this quick story and then we're going to go on to my tutorial. Um, and he was sitting there and he, I went over and sat by him and started talking to him. And he asked me, why are you talking to me? Why are you being nice to me? I said, because I want to. My name is so-and-so. I'm... He goes, oh, and I said, well, I, I have a grandson who has Down syndrome. He goes, you do? And he lit right up, and I showed him pictures of angel babies, and we probably had a 30-minute conversation. And I said, well, um, what are you doing? He said, well, I'm waiting for my mom. She's getting groceries because he had leg problems. He goes, I'm waiting for my mom. I was like, okay. I said, well, I got to get going. My husband's getting some stuff, and he's almost ready to check out. And he said, um, thank you. And I said, for what? He goes, for treating me like I'm not different, for being nice to me. He goes, I have feelings like everybody else. I almost wanted to cry. Oh, he took my breath away. I shook his hand patted him on the back and um, told him you're special don't ever don't pay attention to what anyone else treats you I said um, I have a grandson and that's what I fear is the way he's gonna be treated and I'm afraid I won't be around to protect him so anyways don't treat someone who has a disability like they have a disease Say hello, because it can change their life. And I told you that story about the man with the birthmark where he was going to commit suicide. Eddie, who became my best friend and passed away, I treated him like he was normal. So please, don't treat someone like they have a disease. Be nice. Don't go out of your way and, and overdo it because they can, they can sense that and they get upset. Um, some people with disabilities will say, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't lost my legs yet. Yeah, what are you doing? Because they like their independence. Don't treat them like that. Treat them normal. Like we talk. Treat them with respect and love. Normal conversations. Don't treat them like they have a disability. And don't look at them in that horrid look. Please don't. Um. That's why people take their own lives, because of the way people treat them. Treat them with respect, all right? So I will see you shortly. I need to probably go dry up. I cry every time I think about that stuff. <laughs> so I love you guys. This is going up. Next, next video will be up shortly. I shouldn't say that because it takes a while to download, so I'll see you in a couple of hours. We will be doing my flower. Love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of my channel, and I look forward to the future of Carmen Catherine's Reefs and you, my family. I love you. Have a blessed day, everybody.